today I wanted to do a how I contour my face video and I would definitely break this video as not a fall glam video this is just an everyday routine type of video I decided I wanted to do it because I got a lot of questions on Facebook usually on my videos I say I already contour a while off camera just to say time etc and I really do because it's t it takes a while to get the contouring method and strategies going and once you get everything it just comes natural with you guys and I know that you guys are like what are the type of products and brands that you use for contouring well I have to say any kind of makeup brand definitely have their own contouring type of duo and they are they are perfectly fine and either higher end or lower end it still gives you that perfect glow and that perfect natural look and also not only that with contouring it slims your face a little bit if you have a rounder face it definitely slims your face if you have a not rounder face it definitely trans form your face to a great type of face that you want and a great type of shape. So my advice to you guys before you start really getting to, into contouring, study your face without contouring first. Because when you're getting ready to apply the contour, you really, 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 really want to make sure that you know what kind of shape you're wanting for your face. And all of that, you got to make sure you know what your face looks like without contouring especially if you go to a professional makeup artist or someone is just doing your face that's been into the cosmetic in industry for years you want to ask them what does my face look like without contouring or what how is my face and uh, what does it look like with contouring and stuff like that it is okay to ask your person whoever or makeup artist whoever you have a certain event for whenever they're contouring your face, because if you're not familiar and comfortable with contouring, I'm pretty sure that they would definitely explain to you guys how, what your face look like and what type of products that are supportable for you to get your hands on and stuff like that. Because I did when I got my face done professionally before. I was like, why do I have to suck in my cheeks? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? And it was like, well, you got to be able to know your actual shape first, and you got to be able to know the certain steps. That's how I learned. And... I want to get, definitely help you guys out here and there. So, how I contour your face videos has been going around for a really long time here on YouTube because I have learned from a lot of beauty gurus that's, that that's, has been doing videos for a really long time how to contour. And that was like so different type of stat strategies that you can use. You can use an eyeshadow, you can use a foundation, you can use anything with a certain type of texture. And also, whenever you're applying a contouring shade, make sure it's two, two times darker than your actual skin tone, which I mean is like this. So I use my Elf Contouring and Bronzer Duo. It's $3, and this is their studio line. And this is two tones darker than my actual skin tone. Like, it's darker. Really dark. And I would definitely use a shade. If it was a highlighter, to deepen up my crease. But this is like two shades darker than my actual skin tone and I was definitely in love with it I wish it could be more matte but it's a shimmer type of product which is okay with me matte shimmer it's okay but I know now I know a strategy where I can have it less glittery on my face than having it just like right there at it if you guys know what I mean but this is a perfect duo for anyone and whenever you're applying a contouring step you got to make sure you're using the right utensils and what I mean by using the right utensils is I mean by you need to find the affordable the perfect type of brushes that you're going to need for your contouring so I use this L Essentials professional bronzing brush which is a dollar this is an angled brush this is definitely great for contouring especially when you have to suck in your cheeks a lot and it has an angle point and now that is angled the stippling brushes are soft and it's perfect it's not really those type of brushes where you're poking your skin and doing a lot of damage to it it's just perfect for it to be a dollar and a lot of people are like well it's a dollar and I don't think it'll give that certain type of look that I want yes it will so I really really love this brush for it to be a dollar and not only that it gives great application whenever you use it and also you gotta make sure you know what you're doing before you apply in a contouring shade at that and after that, I just basically faded out with a LA Colors 
blush brush this is two dollars at your local family dollar you can use any blush brush but i just kind of like to blend everything out like while i wear. i am applying a blush on top of my contouring i like to really blend it out really well so enough rambling and i'm going to definitely go ahead and get started with this video so thank you guys so much for watching this is makeup by diana d and let's go ahead and get started before you even think about contouring, you want to apply a foundation that matches your skin tone. You want to make sure everything is blended out precise. And you want to make sure that there is no streaks or lines, etc. Whenever you get ready to apply a foundation. Next, you want to take the product. And before you take the product, you want to make sure you set your foundation with a translucent powder. And make sure the powder blends your foundation in very well. And make sure it doesn't look like a cake face. Because cake face foundation is not what's out this year it's definitely haven't been out for a long periods of time it's just not the attractive way of applying foundation then while that processing and all the powder and foundations has been set you want to take your utensil or tool or brush however you want to call it then you want to take any type of product I am using once again the L contouring blush and bronzer duo then you want to suck in your cheeks, but before you suck in your cheeks, you want to make sure the shade is two tones darker than your actual skin tone. Then, before you, while you're sucking in your cheeks, you want to apply a small amount of product to the brush, tap off major excess. And then I like to kind of start from, usually you can start to from the apples of your cheeks, but depending on your shape that you want you can start it at the temples and go towards your apples or your cheeks so that's the kind of way i like to get things done here and make sure it's under your cheekbone not on top of it and then you just work your way back up and then while you're working your way back up you can blend and apply it to the other side next you want to take your bronzing powder again and then you want to just apply it to your bridge of your nose <laughs> to your temples forehead temple under eyes and then you just make sure you get your jawline then your chin then I usually apply a, a highlighter but I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm gonna come back with the second step for blush I'm taking a really really nice blush this is elf Studio your blush in pink passion which I really really love and is a very bright and pigmented for an everyday type of blush I use this as an everyday type of blush if I really really want some color to my face and I'm gonna take my LA colors blush brush tap off major excess smile to define the apples of my cheeks And there we have it, my everyday how I contour my face video. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will definitely talk to you guys later in my next Fall Glam series. Bye!